favorite is driving without children in a car. And the least favorite is that I'm driving down 74. That's definitely not on my list of things I like to do. But I have a um, dentist appointment today for my wisdom teeth removal. I had a dry socket and it's probably been, goodness, it's been over a month since I got my wisdom teeth out and this tooth over here. I mean, this hole is finally starting to heal, heal, but she wanted to see me one more time. So that's where I'm going today. And today is actually July 31st, the day we were supposed to close on our house. And um, found out yesterday that we really don't know when we're going to close. Um, <laughs> the um, government basically the ball is in the government's court and we're just gonna have to wait there's no there's nothing we can do and trust me we've been very upset and impatient because we're ready to go I mean we know what our plans are and our, um, we have our goal of what we're going to do and everything and we just cannot we can't do anything because we we're just waiting. But this morning I was reading in Proverbs about how if you have a despondent attitude every day, some your day's going to go wrong every day. Something's going to go wrong every day if you have a despondent attitude. But if you have a happy heart, you will feast continually. So then I turned over to Philippians and read about how um, Paul had learn to be content in all things and um, a couple verses later he said it's because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength so that's um, that's my goal is to learn how to be content where we are I mean, we're we're not happy about uh, being stuck here um, but God's in control and we're just gonna have to sit tight while he works everything out and we're just gonna enjoy the days we have left here and enjoy our family and we've been going to the library the kids and I went yesterday to the library in Marshville and the Shield Museum was there with several animals and talking about um, the stars and constellations. So that was fun. The kids got to see a lot of cool things there. And I think tomorrow we're gonna go swimming with Aunt Taylor and Michael's mom. And today I have my dentist appointment and we have church tonight. So that's always exciting. That's like the highlight of my week is going to our D group on Wednesday nights and watching a lot of YouTube videos for entertainment during, you know, the hottest couple hours of the day. We love to watch North and South and Let's Jump More Journey. And I don't know if it's good or bad that we're watching these videos because um, we're watching, right now we're currently doing the um, series or the playlist of um, Let's Jump More Journey's Alaska trip. And uh, of course we've been to Alaska, so we already miss it. But um, it's fun to watch and it's hard to watch at the same time because that's what we're supposed to be doing right now is getting on the road and traveling. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see. It just makes us very anxious to get on the road. The kids are excited. Michael and I are excited and ready and just, you know, we're ready for our time to get out there and see all the places we haven't been. So it's, it's been hard to wait. So that's where we are. And we're just going to keep waiting. We'll keep you updated. But as of now, we're just waiting to hear when we'll close our house. And that's just 
Did you have fun at school today? Mom. We've been here with Emmett and Taylor and Mama having fun at the pool today. Right? Yep. Getting ready to go. Been here for a couple hours and gonna head on because Emmett needs a nap. Right, a sleepy boy. A sleepy. <laughs> we'll see y'all later.